Hey everyone, and thank you for tuning in to the last and final Kinesis Connection episode of the semester. Uh, this is a, an unscripted show, so you know anything could really happen. Uh, we got a lot of things going on today. Uh, we'll be doing awards for each staff member. I'll be talking with graduating senior Mary Kessler, and we'll be doing a very special graduation ceremony for her and myself. So you don't want to miss it. Stick around. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Kinesis Connection, your number one source for news, sports, and campus events. I'll be your host this evening. My name is Dave Goodwin. Uh, so th today's episode is a little different than our usual ones. It's our final episode of the semester, uh, so we really want to recognize all the hard work that all the uh, crew members have uh, put in throughout the semester. So we're going to be doing paper plate awards. These beautifully designed paper plates were created by myself. And I wanted to uh, do this to show you guys how much I appreciate all the hard work you've done uh, throughout the semester. It takes a lot of work to put on a weekly show. I don't know if a lot of people realize that. So thanks to the dedication of all these people back there, uh, they made it possible. So I'm going to announce the award, and then I guess they'll come out and maybe say a few words. Um, let's do the people who aren't here, for, aren't here first. Um, and one of these people is Gabby Walter. Uh, she was a president uh, in 2012. She's done a lot. Um, but the thing is, she got very busy, so she wasn't able to help out as much, and that's why she gets the Busy Bee Award. All right, I'll throw it over there for now. Uh, and then another person who wasn't able to make it today is Julia Simintelli. Uh Julia is just one of those people that like, can lighten up the mood in any room. She's so talkative and social, uh, and she also runs our social media, so that's why I thought it was fitting that she got the Social Butterfly Award. So thanks, Julia, for all your hard work. Sorry you couldn't make it today. And then the last person who couldn't make it today, <coughs> excuse me, uh, is Mike McQuaid. I gotta find his award. Well, I'll find it in there somewhere. Um, Mike is a very uh, interesting and exciting person and he was new to Griffin TV this year. Uh, he's really done a lot of work for the club. And the thing about Mike is that he's so creative. He always comes up with these new ideas. Uh, he did an April Fool's prank video for us. He started the Commuter Life series. He's just very artsy and uh, outgoing. So. Mike got, uh, I think it was the creative award, but I can't really find it, so it's kind of awkward. <laughs> All right, so now that the people who are here, uh, let's actually do their award so you guys will get to meet some of the people who work behind the scenes and uh, get to see uh, what they look like and uh, <laughs> what they sound like. Um, so I'm just going to do these randomly. There's no really designated order for all of this. Uh, let me just pick a random one. All right, so this award goes to a person who loves to be on camera. And normally I would think that would, might not be the best thing, but the thing is this kid is very good at being on camera. Uh, he's so well-spoken and he's improved so much throughout the last year. He's uh, hosted some of his own shows. He's just done a lot of work uh, in front of the camera and we really appreciate it. So the most likely to be famous award goes to Brandon Rudd. Woo! Yeah! There you go, thank you for all your hard work. Oh my God. You wanna say a few words? Uh, yeah, hi mom. I would just love to say thank, to, thank you to all of you guys. Thank you to the Sev. I really love this award. And always believe in your dreams, kids. They will come true. Yes! I did it! Yay! Well, we always appreciate the enthusiasm here at Griffin TV, so thank you, Brandon. Uh, the next award is someone who is almost the opposite in that he's almost always behind the scenes, but he always does so much work. Every week he gets here an, at least an hour before and he helps me set up. Um, he does so much with the technical thing and we really appreciate it. And like I learned throughout the past year that he's actually like a really funny guy and I would have never known that before. So the award for most dedicated goes to Robert Creenan. Robert, why don't you come out here? I love you. Thanks, Robert. Thank you. Wanna say a few words? Um, just go Brazil. Okay. That's it. All right, cool. Yeah, we love sports. <laughs> All right, the next person 
is someone that is also, she's new to Griffin TV this year, um, but one thing I've learned about her is that I can really count on her for anything. If I need her to do a package, she's the first one to do it. If I need her to anchor, she's willing to do it. Um, she puts so much effort and work into the club, and she's really been a valuable asset to um, Griffin TV this year. So the award for most reliable uh, goes to newcomer Bridget Fallon. Oh, and she also wins most dedicated One Direction fan. <laughs> Thanks, Bridget. Thanks, Dave. I want to say a few things. Okay, well, I would like to dedicate this award to everyone at Griffin TV and Harry Styles from One Direction. So, no, but it's been a pleasure. Everyone at Griffin TV has been so kind, and they've been reliable to me back. So, Thank you, Bridget. All right, we got a few more awards to get through. Uh, this next one goes to a person who is probably the newest member of the club, but like, the thing is you would never tell because she fit in so well. The first day she walked in for the Christmas episode, she came to our Christmas party, and she honestly fit right in. It felt like she had been here all along. And uh, we're sad to be losing her because she will be studying abroad in Australia uh, this coming fall. But hopefully she will come back and we really do appreciate all her work. So the award for most valuable newcomer goes to Sarah Brault. Woo! Sarah, thank you for all your hard work. There you go. Want to say a few words? Just want to say thank you and how much fun <laughs> I've been having. And I can't wait to come back next spring semester. Great. Woo. All right. Um, this next one goes to a person who really helped us out. Because a lot of things that happen in television you don't see. There's a lot of crises, a lot of bad things that happen. And one day, our technical director wasn't able to make it to a show. And really, only him and I know how to run the uh, control board. So I asked <laughs> this next person if she would do it on like an hour's notice. And the switchboard is super difficult. I, it took me at least a year to figure it out. And this person mastered it in like an hour. I have no idea how she did it. So the award for the genius, because honestly, she must have been a genius for doing that, is Christine Vo. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. <laughs> there you go. Want to say a few things? Uh, yeah, thanks for allowing me to be a chance to be technical director and, oh, <laughs> okay. hi guys, thanks for sticking through Griffin TV and even though I have not been here that much, it's been a really great experience and thanks. <laughs> we appreciate your help, for sure. All right, a few more awards to get through. Oh, there's Mike's award. Um, okay, next person is someone who sadly is leaving us next year. Um, she's been here since the beginning. I guess you could say she was one of the founding fathers. Uh, she's been truly so dedicated to the club, um, sticking around since uh, we started Griffin TV. And she's ventured out into new things. She started a cooking channel, which is really interesting. Uh, she's done a lot for us, so we really appreciate her work, and we're sad to see her go. So the award for the one who will be missed goes to Mary Kessler. <laughs> Yeah, say a few words. Well, I'm wearing my hat that I will be wearing at graduation, and um, just because this is a very sentimental episode, I wanted to kind of commemorate my leaving, so I just wanted to tell you guys thank you for giving me this wonderful experience. You know, I transferred from Syracuse. It's been a very, very joyful ride throughout my time here at Canisius, and you guys have really helped me adjust very well, so thank you guys. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, you saw it here first, folks. He was my first anchor, co-anchor. The team, sports. the dream team. We were the first uh, co-anchor for sports. Or no, he was my first co-anchor, yeah. as you can say. So yeah, Yeah. it's been a good run. <laughs> it's been a great run. I'll come visit. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. We'll go to a basketball game together or something. Oh yeah, totes. Yeah? Totes. Yeah. And we'll analyze and tweet <laughs> and stuff. Just totally tweet. Like we'll Instagram. Tweet. I can't tweet, but you well, can tweet. Well, Facebook is always great. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, well, tweeting's your job. Facebook is my job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can totally do that. All right, we're done. All right. Hey. All right. That's just the kind of bond that Griffin TV forms, you know. We're just so close. All right, and the last award, but certainly not least, uh, goes to someone <laughs> who started off as a makeup <laughs> director. She hasn't done it in a while, but the makeup that she did for me was phenomenal. The one time my skin looked so clear and, you know, my cheeks were really contoured. <laughs> so, uh, but the, on a personal note, she's someone that I've really grown to know this year and she's been a really great friend to me and I really appreciate having her around and helping her out. And uh, I love our Tuesday and Thursday lunches. They're, just, they're so fun and I look forward to them every week. So the last award for the guru let me explain that. I always like go on YouTube 
and there's always like videos for like makeup gurus. Yeah, and like this girl knows a lot about makeup, so she gets the guru award. Emma Holbrook. <laughs> hey, oh. You want to say a few words? Sure. Thank you so much for this award. It's really um, quite an honor. I love the name Guru, and I really enjoy our lunches too, and I love Griffin TV, and everyone here is so sweet, and everyone here is really hardworking, and I'm glad that I've gotten to learn from everyone so much, because I'm glad I've gotten to participate in other things, so thank you guys, and I have one last award too, to cut Dave off, um, actually it is for Dave, it, this person is called the old timer or the prez. Oh for short, right. for president, of course, because he was the president of the club and he acted like it because he was always here, always hardworking, really supportive of everyone. And he's been here all along and has so much experience and he's gonna go out and rule the world and the media and everything. So we're <laughs> proud of you and we'll miss you a lot. Yeah. Wow, that means a lot guys, so I appreciate that. Uh, those are all the awards for now. Um, I'm going to be talking with Mary Kessler after the commercial break. We'll be talking about what we both plan on doing after Griffin TV. And then after that, we have a graduation ceremony, so you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Uh, th there was one day that we had just done the uh, cardiovascular unit um, you know, in class that day. And then right after class, I went over to uh, the, the Vascular Institute, volunteered, you know, put the scrubs on. And uh, one of the doctors asked me if I wanted to see an open heart surgery. And so I said, oh, yeah, really? sure. I came into Canisius as a, you know, obviously as a freshman, not really sure what I wanted to do. I ended up taking a digital media arts class, and that really just kind of jump-started you know, my career. And I think being where we are in, in the city and, and, uh, and in the world with, with the uh, medical campus that we have here it is really an opportunity that I wouldn't have anywhere else. It's more than just academics. Meet different people. Go out and do things. There's so much more to college. It's an experience. I instantly fell in love with doing video work, graphic design. I started pursuing more and more opportunities in the school, uh, whether it was doing admissions videos on the sides, I did a couple videos for alumni relations, the president of the college, and then I actually got noticed last year and they sent me over to the Philippines to create a feature length documentary. I lived with the host family while I took classes in Spanish with Spanish professors at the University of Oviedo and I was a Spaniard for a semester and it was the best decision I made as a college student. All right, welcome back to Canisius Connection. Uh, I'm the president, David Goodwin, and I'm here with Mary Kessler. Hi, I'm Mary Kessler. I'm the food blogger for Kessler's Kitchen. Yeah, now. she has so many roles for Griffin TV, it's hard to keep track. She did sports, yeah. she did food, you know, she does all it all. The place. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about what's next for you. I mean, yeah. you're going to be graduating this year. As you Griffin can tell. TV is sad to lose you. Yeah, I'm sad um, to go. So, like, what's, not, what's next for you? Uh, well, I have to do a summer internship because I, you know, I transferred from Syracuse after taking a semester off. So I have a couple struggle credits that, I, that an internship can take care of. So I'm thinking about getting into advertising. Um, right now, I'm thinking uh, media buying, which you know I don't want to go in and explain, but you know, advertising. Uh, so right now, I'm just finishing up an internship. And then this summer, I'm talking to a bunch of people, and so there's a couple that are looking good right now. So I'll be doing that, and then hopefully I get a job. Sounds good. Can you talk about what is Kanisha has been like to, for you? Because you transferred from Syracuse, a very different school. Yeah, I, I actually went to a very small high school in Buffalo, Buff Sam, and it's, it, you know, less than 200 students. Um, in the entire school, and so I thought that I really wanted to get out and go to a really big school. So I went to Syracuse University, which I think might be about 10,000 students. That could be wow. totally wrong, but it's That's huge. a sizable number. It is huge. It's a huge school, and so I just got very overwhelmed. Um, the snow is terrible in Syracuse, really? like 10 times worse than Buffalo. Wow, so who knew? Who knew? Yeah, so I 
took a semester off just because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was went through two majors mm -hmm. at Syracuse. So I took a semester off, and then I you know, transferred to Canisius, and I just noticed a tremendous difference. You know, Canisius is much smaller than Syracuse. I felt more at home, more comfortable with people who are here. I felt like there were more people down to earth here at Canisius. And I mean, I did know people who were down to earth and nice at Syracuse, but I feel like there were more of those kinds of people here and, you know, I'm just familiar with Buffalo. I live, like, I'm a commuter. I live five minutes away. So, you know, I feel like I could do my own thing, you know, just around Buffalo and then come here and do whatever I need to do here. So it was just, it's been a journey, you For know. Sure. I I will have to say to, you know, freshmen, sophomores, even juniors and, you know, high school students that, your college path doesn't have to be a straight line. You can take a couple turns. Doesn't, I mean, a lot of people tell you you have to, you know, right out, right out of high school, go to college, graduate, get a job. But you can really take time for yourself and really figure out what you want to do. Yeah, that actually reminds me a lot of Griffin TV because we took a couple, like, wide turns and we had a lot of changes in our shows throughout the year. Uh, and you joined in 2012 when we made the transition from CCTV to Griffin TV. Why did you decide to join in the first place, and what has the experience been like for you? I, I don't have any specific reasons for joining. I just thought it would be something to do. Mm. I thought when I first came here, you know, I'm a commuter, as I said. And so I just kind of, I was afraid that I didn't want to be too disconnected from campus, so I wanted to join something and, you know, being on Griff TV, just it somehow sounded appealing to me. I don't necessarily want to get into TV, but I thought, you I'm know. I'm sorry, we couldn't persuade you. <laughs> maybe I'll appear occasionally, this beautiful face. <laughs> but yeah, so it's more like a social thing, mm -hmm. I guess. And we've had a lot of fun memories throughout the years. Do any of them oh, yeah. stand out in particular to you? Well, uh, New Orleans. That was we a very all, fun trip. Yes, you. Yeah, for those who don't know, uh, four of Griffin TV's officers headed out to the College Media Advisors Convention in New Orleans in October of 2013, and uh, it was just a great trip. We bonded all. We all bonded. We did. We also. Uh, it wasn't just Griff TV from Canisius who mm -hmm. went. Uh, there were people from the Griffin who also came with us. Uh, we don't, or at least I don't know many people from the Griffin, but you know this trip kind of immerse the two together yeah, and now there's actually a show pretty much with the Griffin that our very own Kyle Ferrara runs called Griffin Insider yes. um, where we utilize a lot of content from the Griffin and staff members from the Griffin and um, that just it's crazy how far Griffin TV has grown I think now that yeah. we have that third show just talking about that's kind of crazy there's Griffin TV this new show and then Kyle Ferrara he he and I actually used to co-anchor for the sports for this show then he broke off with Brandon Rudd to do Hashtag Griff Sports. Which was a 30-minute sports show that aired every week. Yes. I helped out with that for a while. Uh, and then, you know, now Kyle is starting the other show. So yeah. it's definitely... Yeah, it's definitely come thing. a long way, especially since my freshman year. I was in CCTV, and we did probably maybe two or three productions throughout the whole year. And it was nothing like we had now, where we have weekly, consistent, half-hour shows. And I think this is great for the journalism program and the communication program at Canisius. The students have hands-on opportunity to um, learn television production and broadcast, and I'm very happy to have been a part in establishing that. Well, I'm sure the journalism and communications people will thank you in the future. Uh, I'm this sure they thank you, too. <laughs> this uh, program has mm -hmm. definitely gotten much bigger. For sure. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what about you? What are you plans for the future? I know that you're going abroad next semester. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm studying abroad in Galway, Ireland for a semester. Um, just finished all my paperwork. There's so much of it. Like, it was crazy. Yeah, but imagine. it was. I'm excited to go. And unfortunately, I won't be able to be as involved with Griffin TV next year. I won't be uh, an officer. But hopefully, I'll be able to stop by once in a while and help out. And um, I just love Griffin TV so much. It's going to be sad not coming here every week because it's pretty much all I've known. I knew every week I would have to get ready and get ready for a show, and I'd come up to the fourth floor of Lions 
And it's just, it's crazy that I won't be doing that anymore. But I, I think TV is something I might consider in the future, uh, maybe producing, I'm not sure yet. But um, it's definitely something that's opened my eyes and I really have loved doing it. It's been stressful, it's been hectic. I wanted to scream. This is but good <laughs> preparation for you then. You've done a very good job bringing this club up off the floor. Well, thank you, so, I appreciate that. Yeah. All right, well, I wish you the best of luck in the future. And I wish you the best of luck too. <laughs> We're going to have a special graduation ceremony now after this, um, so you don't want to miss it. And there's going to be a special performance by Beyonce, right? Yeah, she's coming to Yeah, so you don't want to miss it. Stick around after commercial break. Hello everyone and welcome back to a very special episode of Canisius Connections. Today I am going to be presenting to you guys the class of 2014 of Griffin TV. So my name is Bridget Fallon and I am a relatively new member to Griffin TV. I joined this year but we wanted to all pay a very special tribute to two of the founding members of Griffin TV. And on behalf of everyone here, I can say that the show would not be the same without them. They bring an incredible amount of energy and excitement and love to all of us. So as of today, this moment in time, I'm not sure of the exact day, 30th. the 30th of April, of April <laughs> we are going to present, be presenting the class of Griffin TV for 2014. I'm gonna go in alphabetical order. Now you guys, this is gonna be a very, very long ceremony, so I just want you to sit tight, relax, just maybe grab a snack, a drink or something. Okay, so I certify the official successful completion of Griffin TV. Go forth and set the world on fire. Petey Griffin and John Hurley sign these. So here we go. David Goodwin, come on up and grab your certificate. Would you like to say a few words? Sure. Uh, once again, thanks to everybody who helped out. We really appreciate all the work that you do. And thanks to those who watched uh, throughout the past years. We really appreciate your viewership and your support. Uh, it's really what makes doing all this worth it. So thank you guys so much. I'm sad to be going, but it's for the better. So good luck, guys, next year. I'll miss you guys a lot. So Dave will be very missed, but next and our last member of the class, we have Mary Kessler. Come on up. Thank you. I'll shake your hand. Shake my hand. Take the award. Thank you. Well, this is a very proud moment. Um, I get to do this twice this year. So um, I would also like to say thank you guys for all your hard work. I've kind of been. I've been in front of the camera and behind the camera, so I kind of had a taste of what it's like to be in both positions. Um, and I've seen the hard work that everybody's put into it. And so it's been a very memorable past couple of years for me. So thank you guys. 
Okay. So now we're going to bring the whole class up. I told you guys it was a really long ceremony. Come on up, guys. Okay, you guys ready? Sure. Um, I just want to say thanks again for everyone for watching. Um, make sure to check out griffintv.net for any updates. Uh, there's going to be a lot of great things happening um, next semester, so stay tuned. Have a safe and happy uh, summer. Good luck on finals. Try not to stress out too much. You'll do great. So I guess one last time from both of us. Uh, how'd have, it go? A good Have a good week, Kanishas. Kanishas. <laughs> Bye. Woo!